incident started at a cemetery. Police spotted two people they thought looked suspicious and engaged them. An officer was shot at that scene and died at the hospital. He was identified as Detective Joe Seals, a married father of five. Suspects fled and barricaded themselves inside a grocery store. Hours of gunfire would leave five more people dead, three civilians and the two suspects. In addition to the officer killed, at least two officers were injured in the shootouts. With just a couple shots fired, he thought the scare was done, but it was just the beginning. When I was still standing up, the first gunman ran in. He peered up to see the black raincoat of 47-year-old gunman David Anderson. Anderson did not see him, so Lax lunged toward the door, but came face to face with the second shooter. The second she saw me, she right away came in, pushed, pushed the door, and turned herself with the long rifle towards me. Staring down the barrel of a gun, he pushed her arm and rifle away and darted out the door. Surveillance video shows him sprinting out of the store as 50-year-old Francine Graham fires at him. It was flying all over me. I ran zigzag and ran as fast as I could. As he ran down the street, he saw a small boy fleeing the gunfire. He grabbed the boy and brought him to safety. It could have been a lot worse. Lax has a wife and a four-year-old daughter. He owns an appliance store in the neighborhood. He sold an appliance the day before the shooting to the only other surviving victim inside the store, Heim Deutsch. who was shot but survived. His cousin, Moisha Deutsch, was killed. So I jumped out the back seat right here, and as I was jumping out, one of the Jewish guys was climbing over the fence over here. So he was trying to escape. He was he running was trying for his to, life. He was trying to escape, and this is the building right here. here. We was right here the whole time, just right here the whole time. What, what was we, it like sitting in that spot? It, you know? I was freaking out because all we could hear was machine guns, and we're thinking, like we're dead in the middle of it. I don't live here, so there's no apartment that I can run into. One of the Jewish men from the market, he was climbing over the fence, and I could see he was bleeding from his stomach area. And he went, someone opened up the door at 207, and he ran in there, and I dashed in and ran inside too. So it was about four of us that was inside the building as the bullets and everything were going, and we didn't know where it was coming from, but he was hit. Anaya Bay found herself caught in the middle of a gun battle Tuesday afternoon. Police and two now slain suspects exchanging hundreds of rounds over two hours. We never experienced anything like this before. It was like machine guns. Stop, start, stop, start. Moments after Anaya hopped out of her idling car to take cover, she noticed a man across the street wounded. He was shot inside the kosher market on MLK Drive, the site of what we now know was an anti-Semitic attack. He was bleeding from like his abdomen area and he was singing like he was feeling funny. We tried to give him water, he needed air. Yo, I saw him running. I it saw him running. Guy? With the small gun? Yeah, the, this officer was trying to do They this. still shooting though, they ain't finished. He probably got Oh my goodness. Still, I literally was just sleeping to go to work in about an hour. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. Did you call the police? The police is here! No, no, the one last one, the ambulance. Call the ambulance and come to me. I'm not a. Anaya says her pleas for help out on the sidewalk went ignored until she shoved the injured man out onto the sidewalk so he could be seen. Now, you, 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 inside. We don't live here. I don't care. If I see you out here again, when I come back, I'm coming for you. you